Good day mates from beautiful Adelaide, South Australia and I have found my way to the North Terrace Street or Boulevard and this in, its, in and by itself is supposed to be a tourist attraction here in Adelaide but I've got a different tourist attraction in mind today and that would be the State Library. I'm on my way to the State Library also that's the probably the main public library here in Adelaide. And I thought I would just share a little bit of the North Terrace with you, including this statue of the Honorable, Honorable Dame Roma Mitchell, who was the governor of South Australia up until, uh, looks like, until 1996. So there you see the Honorable, the Honorable Dame. Uh, look, at, look at that sculpture. Beautiful. And I'm actually right in front of the what's called the government house, which if I'm not mistaken would be the equivalent per se of the uh, of the governor's mansion back in many states in the United States. I could be mistaken, but I believe the government house is the same as the government mansion. There's another statue right up here. Yeah. Really pretty. Hope I can show that on YouTube. I think I can without getting in too much trouble. I've only been in Adelaide now a very, very short distance, or time I should say. And uh, it's a very nice city. Here's Mary Lee, 1821 to 1909. Okay. I'm not going to try to share all of this with you, but I'll share some of it. Here's Sir, Sir Lawrence Bragg's first Australian Nobel Laureate, Physics, 1915. And here you would have Sir William Henry Bragg, Elder Professor of Mathematics and Physics, University of Adelaide, 1886 to 1909. Very nice. Lord Flory right there. We've got Lord Flory, whoever Lord Flory was. Wonderful. So, I need to find my way up to the, the State Library. And it's actually quite a sight from the pictures that I've seen. And hopefully I'll be able to share some of it with you. This would be Mark O. Olaf Oliphant, I think is his name. Alright. Let's see if I can't find my way down to the down to the library. And just like that I found my way to the to the state library here in in Adelaide. And it looks to be quite a large Quite a large complex. I, you know, I can't tell. Every time I see a library, hear about a library, think about a library, I think about a really special guy named uh, named Dad. And oh, if Dad were, if Dad were only here, he would. Uh, I'm sure just really, really appreciate and love the opportunity to, to walk in these front doors here. And if I'm not mistaken, they, the library is made up of two sections. You've got this older section right here, which is quite the historic library. And then you have the newer, the newer section right here. And it looks like they actually have a they have a cafe in the state library as well. That library dates back to 18, I think 1870. So here you have the welcome to the welcome to the library, the library cafe. Right here. Wonderful. 
All right, so I'll get all checked in and see what I can share with you. All right, so I got through security, and this would be the uh, library cafe here. And it looks like a nice place that you could just actually sit and do a little, uh, <laughs> a little work. Have a uh, have a cup of coffee. They've got no shortage of things to things to choose from. What a nice space this is. It really is. Look at all this workspace. Come and just sit in here on a on a hot day. Library Cafe by St. Raphael's. You can see. Wonderful. All right. Let's go and uh, see the actual library itself. All right. I made my way upstairs, and in doing so, there is a just a beautiful gallery. Look at this. They've got some various artwork on display here. But also they have over here what's called the the treasures wall which has a nice collection of art very very nice and if they have a collection here of what look like shells you got abalone shell right there Over here you have, looks like you have wheat. Very nice. This is the artist George French Angus in his South Australia. Look at this right here. You can see that. And this is quite interesting. Look at the look at the display they have here. Uh, very nice cricket. All right. So I'm going to see if I can't find my way into I think what is the uh, National I think it's the National Gallery if I'm not mistaken boy just past the gallery is what appears to be the main the main library so I'm gonna be real quiet and see if I can't walk through and share a little bit of this with you dad rest his soul he would have just loved this place he really boy my dad would have really loved this library I'd imagine I'd imagine that he probably would have look at the family right there Adelaide was built by people like this. Good, good people. Very nice. And I don't know what this is. Maybe this is a, a printing press of some sort. Look at that. See if I can't get a view from the other side. space look at this this is an inner type typesetting machine from the early was it the early 1980s some of the headlines it's peace 150,000 at Elvis Burial, City in Ruin, South Australia's Agony, 22 dead. Wow. Wonderful. Boy, you 
just can't say enough good about this place. Okay. So let's go check out the... Uh, We'll go check out the historic wing of the, uh, we'll go check out the historic wing. Boy, what a beautiful, beautiful place. Just gorgeous. Oh, I know my dad is walking with me as I speak. This is the Mortlock Ring wing in honor of pastoralist John Andrew Tennant Mortlock, 1894 to 1950. Wow. He left 1.8 million for this. Uh, look at this. Boy, this is really, really nice. Well, here's, your, here's your library, folks. Is this something? Beautiful. Wow. Quite spectacular. South Australia's Christian heritage. No shortage of information about the history of South Australia. It's gorgeous. I'm not quite sure what this is. To be a child different little different little games now I don't know if you can actually go upstairs or not boy that's something It's nice and cool in here as well. Here they have a bunch of information on nostalgia on looks like cricket. Fortunately, I can't necessarily show a lot of this because of the, the glare from the glass. But you can still see some of it. Perhaps. Challenge Cricket Shield, it says. Well, look at this picture up here. Those were the days. And I don't think you can actually get upstairs. Boy, it really is beautiful. Okay, folks. So there's your tour of the uh, of the library here. Really pretty. Very historic. Have a uh, have a great day. Well, I've been known to be mistaken before, and you can go upstairs, at least so I, so I hope. And let's see if I can actually get a view. Well, yes, you can. Look at this. Beautiful. And you can actually come up here and sit. this for an office for the day.
gorgeous. Just gorgeous. That is beautiful. Wow, you can come up here and just do the do the office for the day. Fantastic. Talk about an inspirational place to work. This really is something. Incredible. Wow, absolutely incredible. To be able to share this with you. Look at the view looking down. Look at that view. Or that really is gorgeous. So I think. I'm going to uh, find my way up to the next level and share that with you. And you know, I would be remiss if I didn't kind of share the books with you. Look at, look at some of the books. To Have and Hold, Indian Lullaby, A Leap in the Dark, Royal Geo Geographical Society of South Australia. says staff only so unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to share the next flight with you unless I can get in from the other to the other side <laughs> okay so I can't go to the top I can't take you to the third floor here in the library but uh, boy you know as far as tourist attractions in Adelaide don't miss this one it is beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful spot and if you need a place to work for the day, don't go to Starbucks. <laughs> Come here to the State Library. They got a cafe downstairs. You can get a coffee there and come up and sit in this beautiful, beautiful building and just do your work. So have a, uh, have a great day. Take, uh, take good care.